We covered quite a bit of ground, especially since I was also doing the stand-in for my friend Pierre Vigerio on the first day on the pricing forum. Uh, and there the big theme was, of course, uh, in the face of oil prices having collapsed, is that now not a good time for both producers and importers, so far as not already done, uh, to agree on the reasonable mechanism of hub-based pricing, and that including uh, the uh, insight that of course the producer does not need a midstreamer anymore to import his gas into any particular market, but he may wish to use the midstreamer as a service provider and such service provider would be ready against fair reimbursement of the cost and a service fee which in the past we used to call a margin. And in the face of reduced oil prices and producers looking for places to cut costs, they have to remember that they have otherwise to build up large organizations to manage multiple counterparty credit risk and so on and so on. And here is existing experienced organizations standing ready to provide the service and also, you know, credit worthy buyers who will send the check every month reliably. A lot of effort, you know, working, you know, through Eurogas, you know, with the policy makers one, uh, you know, uh, helping to complete uh, the single European market, also to um, assist in any way you can, and that's very hard to do, uh, uh, to not get astray, you know, with all the possibilities uh, that some see in the widely defined term of energy union. Uh, I used the, 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 the phrase in the conference uh, at the panel discussion, when you're up to your eyeballs in alligators, you know, you forgot that you set out to drain the swamp. A and it is really, in the past, we used to call it single European market and was a clear target. Now it may mean many things, but the most important one is to complete that single European market. Then you will also not need uh, purchase uh, uh, communities or purchase unions or so, because the price issue is already resolved uh, and you don't need uh, extra negotiating power uh, to uh, uh, negotiate a particular uh, P0, you know, in an oil price formula, which has no uh, reference whatsoever to the price formation of natural gas. It is uh, the absence of a fully completed single European market with a functioning price formation uh, only by supply and demand. You do have that, and quite successfully so, and quite liquid. In Northwest Europe, you do not have it in other areas of Europe. That has to do also with the lack of interconnectivity in some places. It's again about the completion of the single European market. And in the wake of that will come, you know, a better uh, reputation for the natural gas product because you get away from this physical dependency uh, rather to you rely on the market and the price that is being set will attract the supplies uh, that find it useful to do so. It will also instill confidence on suppliers to come to this market and supply it because the rules are transparent.